it's all about an old woman who approaches McDonald's in Singapore when it first opened at Viet Towers in 1979. She had heard the place was popular. It had only opened a few weeks ago, yet she was not prepared for queues and queues of people stretching from the counter and beyond the glass front doors. What am I doing here? she thought. I, I, I don't belong. In those few moments of doubt, she became a rock around which potential and satisfied customers had to flow around. She sensed that irritation and felt all the more that she, an old woman, was not welcome in this day and age, that she should just dissolve and disappear through the cracks of the tower floor beneath her feet so they could move past her with youthful ease and speed. She tightened her jaw and clutched her hand back tighter to her chest. No, I will try this. They will not stop me. This is 1979. I have my rights. Carefully, she descended the stairs that led to the front door of McDonald's. She joined a queue filled with school uniform clad teenagers, all chatting callous nonsense. Beyond, other bouncy youngsters beyond behind the counter received orders, dashed about rows and rows of shiny metallic kitchen equipment collecting food and drinks, and then filling the trays back at the counter. To her right in the eating areas, all the tables and seats were filled with even more people. From squeaky styrofoam boxes, they picked up and stuffed meat-filled bread into their mouths, biting off huge chunks. From oil-soaked so oil paper containers, they picked up greasy yellow strips and threaded them also into their mouths. From striped straws, they sucked unknown water from paper cups. It was a long wait. Her knees protested. She assisted. The longer she stood, the more overwhelmed she was. Strange smells surrounded her. The sweating teenagers in front of her stank in the crowded heat, despite the air conditioning. The walls and ceiling and plastic furniture breathed out whiffs of new paint and construction glue. The kitchen area and the yellow strips on people's food trays seduced with the aroma of fried oil. A child had puked, and the acrid reek of vomit shut up for a few moments before an efficient staff member cleaned the mess away. All around her were talking and laughing people, and the latest ungraspable American pop black music, pop music black from overhead speakers. She felt giddy. Releasing the top button, she released. Releasing the top button, she reached beneath her blouse for the handkerchief that she always kept secured under her shoulder strap of her bra. From her bag, she brought out a bottle of, of Hong Yu. She was so busy dabbing medicinal oil on her handkerchief that she did not realize that it was her turn to be served, especially since the fresh-faced girl at the counter addressed her in English. Good afternoon, ma'am. Welcome to McDonald's. What would you like? She raised her head from her task, only when she realized that there was a strange silence around her. The uncomfortable pause in the efficient services of the girl at the counter and the annoyed impatience of the teenage HRP boy behind her. She tried to open her mouth and respond. Not a word came out. The counter girl tried again to speak to her in English. She did not understand at all. An older girl, a supervisor, came to check the cause of the holdup. This girl was wiser and asked, Ah, uh, um, look, I see me. She pointed at the tray of food being carried by the businessman, walking away from the counter in the next queue. The wait staff and supervisor conferred in English and punched the right buttons in the cash register. The supervisor said, Ah, um, go, go, go. She was shocked. So much money, more than she spent at the market for a week's worth of meat and vegetables. Slowly, she opened her purse, determined to pay for this once-in-a-lifetime experience. From her beaded purse, she carefully unrolled dollar notes and tipped up to coins. Within seconds of surrendering her money, 
She was holding a tray filled like other trays with a styrofoam box, a wax paper cup, a striped straw, three white napkins, a paper container of greasy yellow sticks, and two small rectangular packets of sauce.